Lesson 6-4, Partial Quotients Division. In this lesson, the main focus is for you to be able to solve a division number story. I want you to use partitioned rectangles to solve those division problems with a two-digit dividend, and for you to be able to divide parts using a model to understand partial quotients as a written expression. That's a lot to learn. But let's get started with our mental math and fluency, because I know you can do it. 3 6, is that greater than, less than, or equal to 3 4? Well, even though the denominators are different, I hope you realize that 3 out of 6 is half. So half is definitely less than 3 4. Again, 1 half versus 15, 50 hundredths. 50 is half of 100. So that equals each other. 1 half does equal 50 hundredths. And again, if my denominators are unlike, and I notice that neither of them are a half, I want to look and see if I can change the denominator easily to the larger one. And I can. I know that 4 fifths can become tenths by multiplying by 2. And whatever I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator. So 4 times 2 is 8. Oh, now it's simple. 6 tenths is less than 8 tenths. Remember, studying those multiplication facts is going to help you in a lot of ways you might not even be totally comprehending right now. Read this problem to yourself as I read it out loud. It asks, or states, The art club is making a rectangular mural for the gym wall. They have 98 square foot tiles. If the club members want the mural to be 7 feet long, how tall will it be? And this is how you would explain your answer. Let's start first with what we know. The mural is a rectangle. So right away, I'm going to draw that to make sure that I know what I'm looking at. A rectangle. And I know its area is 98 square feet. So I know the area, the inside measurement, is 98 square feet. And I also know that the length is 7 feet. So my length here is 7 feet. What do we want to find out? Well, it says right here how tall it will be. So we want to find out the height of the mural. We need to write this as a number model with a letter standing for the unknown quantity. So we want to write this as 98 divided by 7 equals, and I'm going to use h for height. We can estimate the height of the mural. For instance, 98 is close to 100. 7 is fairly close to 10, so 100 divided by 10 would be 10. So I know my answer is going to be close to 10. So again, you're seeing the rectangle drawn over here at the side. 98 square feet is the total area. So here's one way we could think of it is how many 7s should we subtract from 98? Well, just like we had done before, we could start out with 10 sevens, and I'm not going to take the time to make this real neat, but I will start out that way or try, equals 70. So we know, we know it's going to take more than 10. So I could go 11 sevens, and I'm just going to put the sevens here so I don't take up your time, will equal 7 more, which is 77. I know 12 sevens, again, is going to equal 84. 13 sevens will equal 91. And 14 sevens. will equal 98. 
So how many feet would it be? Well, let's look. 14 times 7 would give me 98. What did we know from what was written? We wanted to know what we wanted to find out. We also needed to be able to write this as a number model with a letter standing for the unknown quantity. And finally, we used estimation, the height of the mural, to make sure that our answer made sense. What I want you to do next is to look at the following problem. And it says, how many fours should we subtract from 72? Well, we would know that it's going to take quite a few fours because 10 times 4 would only be 40 and 20 times 4 would be 80. But let's try something else. Let's first try what's called partial quotients. Partial quotients would be used to build up to the final quotients. So we set it up as you see here. And we say, how many tens, groups of ten fours, can we get out of 72? And we just said 10. So I write that down. So now we need to figure out how much is left to divide. So in order to do that, I got to multiply 10 times 4 to find out what that answer is for 10 fours. And now I'm going to need to subtract. And I find out that I have 32 left over. Now I need to ask myself, how many groups of 4 can I get into 32? If I don't know that answer immediately, I could think to myself, well, half of 10 is 5, and I know that 5 times 4 is 20. And again, I need to multiply, write it down and subtract to see what I have left next, and I have 12 left. So, how much is 12 divided by 4? So, I write 3 to the right of it. This is the third partial quotient. Now I multiply back. 3 times 4 is 12. I subtract. I have nothing left. And now I add 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 3 is 18. So my answer is 18. Let's take a look at this next problem together. It reads, Bina needs 72 muffins for a party. The muffins are sold in boxes of four. How many boxes does Bina need? So again, our big questions. What do we need to know? Right here. We need to know how many boxes Bina will need. What do we want to find out? Again, the exact amount of boxes. Write this as a number model with a letter standing for the unknown quantity. Hopefully you're realizing that we would write that as 72 divided by 4 equals, and since I need boxes, I'm going to write the unknown as letter B. And finally, estimate how many boxes Bina will need. Well, 72 is close to 75 and 4 is close to the number 5 and I know that if I take 5 times 10 that's 50 and 50 from 75 is 25 and 5 times 5 is 25 so my answer is 50 for an estimation. So now let's find out the real answer. If I have 72 and I'm dividing it by 4, I'm first going to use the easiest number that I know, and that's going to be the number 10. 
So I'm going to write 10 over to the right. Now I multiply 10 times 4 is 40. I'm going to subtract to see how many I have left, and I have 32 left. So next, I'm going to multiply by another easy number, 5. 5 times 4 is 20. I'm going to subtract again, and I come up with 12. And finally, I'm going to say how many groups of 4 into 12 is 3. I multiply back, 3 times 4 is 12 and I subtract, I have none left. So to get my actual answer, I say 10 plus five is 15, plus three is 18. Remember, you can always pause these recordings and back up and listen to them again and again until you figure out the methods to use or the steps. Please turn to Math Journal page 290, I'm sorry, 198. This is an ACI, it's an assessment check, so I want to make sure you know how to do it. So on this page it says, estimate, write a number model with an unknown to represent the problem and then solve using partial quotients division. There are six pencils in each pack of pencils. How many packs can be made from 96 pencils? It's even showing you here how to set up the problem. I want you to estimate it then write the real number model using the numbers that they give you, and then find the answer. Please stop the recording now and do problem one. If you need for me to read the rest of the problems, please stay on this page and listen to them after you get done with one. Problem two says, Dion has $84 to use to purchase books. Books cost $7 each. How many books can Dion buy? Remember, your problem is set up right over here, the division. So if it's easier for you to write your number and model with the unknown first, then write your estimate, and then figure your answer. Pause the recording now and do number two, but turn it on if you need to hear number three read to you. And number three reads, Jayla ran three miles in 42 minutes, if she ran all three miles in the same amount of time, how many minutes did it take her to run each mile? Again, they set the problem right up over here for you, so you need to write the number model with the unknown, do your estimate, and then write the answer to the problems in the space provided. Please pause the recording now, finish math journal page 198, bring it back to me to check it for you so I can check it off as an assessment check-in. Once I've checked page 198, I want you to do math journal page 200, and that's shown here right on the screen. The first math box is division problems. The second math box is to find the unknown side length for your area. Remember, if you struggle, you can go back to your SRB and look on page 111 and 112, or possibly 204. If you can read the rest of the math boxes by yourself, Pause the recording now and finish Math Journal page 200. If not, go ahead and pause it and do those two math boxes and then turn it back on to hear me read the rest of the math boxes. Math box three says, complete the table with equivalent names. So four tenths, you need to write it as a decimal. 50 hundredths, you need to write it as a decimal. Three hundredths, again, write it as a decimal. and Ten hundredths, right is as a fraction. Sorry, it needs to be a fraction in this column, decimal in this one. Pause the recording now and do math box three. Math box four. Carl's rectangular vegetable garden is 20 feet by 45 feet. McKenna's garden is 25 feet by 40 feet. How much larger is McKenna's garden than Carl's? Make sure you label Carl's K and put what you're multiplying to figure out your area. And then McKenna's M, multiply that out and find out your answer for this problem. Pause the recording now and then turn it back on when you're ready to hear problem five read to you. A 63 pound golden retriever weighs nine times as much as a seven pound miniature Dachshund. Which model below could represent this? Fill in the circle next.